Hello Taurus, welcome or welcome back to this beautiful channel. My name is Nina, otherwise known as Sinful Pluto, and today we are doing your Mercury Retrograde general reading. So we're just going to see what's going on for you, this Mercury Retrograde. This is going to apply to Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So check out if you to see if you have any of those placements. Uh, keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it might not apply to everyone, and that's okay. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest that doesn't. Um, take it all with a grain of salt, and most of all, sit back and enjoy yourself, all right? Um, if you want to book a personal reading with me, you can do so at sinfulpluto.com. And if you want to find me on social media, you can do so on Twitter and Instagram at Sinful Pluto. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. I'm using the Spacious Tarot for anyone who is curious. I'll be linking it down below <clears throat> if you want to check it out. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So what's going on for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, this Mercury Retrograde? What's going on for Taurus, this Mercury retrograde? Ooh, got a card. Ooh, got another card. Okay, we got three cards. <laughs> All right, let's see. So we have the Child or the Page of Swords. We have the Three of Pentacles. Ooh, I like this. We have the Nine of Swords. Okay. We have the Ace of Wands reversed, the Eight of Cups reversed, uh, Ten of Cups, and then at the bottom of the deck is actually your card, Taurus. It is the Hierophant reversed. So this is actually so perfect, and I feel like this is this all connects very well. Um, so basically, having the overall energy for this Mercury retrograde as the Hierophant reverse, this to me, especially with the rest of the spread, kind of reads to me as a fear of commitment or committing yourself to some sort of project, endeavor, person, contract, whatever it is. There's that kind of that fear or that reluctance or that hesitance to kind of entirely immerse yourself into something or commit to something or explore the depths of something there's just like you want to dip your toes into something but not so much to the point that you are completely locked into it and that you have like no way of escape if that kind of makes sense and i feel that with that sort of mindset having this mindset of not being able to escape, of feeling, so, of like automatically kind of putting yourself in this mindset of the possibility of somehow being trapped by this or imprisoned by this thing. I think that sort of approach, that sort of mindset is kind of where you go wrong. And I feel that is where you end up kind of hurting yourself um, in the long run, not like physically, but like hurting yourself in terms of like, pursuing certain paths or pursuits or what what have you that sort of thing and I feel that this retrograde is kind of a time to see what you might be kind of trying to run away from or what you might be trying to avoid or like not completely immerse yourself in because you don't want to go like a hundred percent to it you know mm. I have like a hangnail that's bothering me. But that's kind of like what that feels like. That's kind of what the overall theme of this retrograde feels like because I see that you have a lot of ideas, Taurus. You have a lot of things that you want to pursue, a lot of risks that you do want to take, right? With that child of swords, with the page of swords, you have a lot of ideas that you want to pursue and like they're, they're just on coming, on coming. But I see you hesitating. I see you overthinking and getting in the way of yourself, getting in the way of your own prosperity. Maybe it's because you are doubting whether you actually deserve it. Maybe you are doubting whether this is something that you actually want in the long run. Whatever it is, I just see you kind of looking for excuses to not fully immerse yourself in this thing or in this person or in this project, whatever this is, right? There's, there's just like this something holding you back, this thing in the back of your mind that keeps on picking at you that 
is preventing you from really taking really awesome risks that could really ultimately lead to you having more bang for your buck, essentially. And like, I just see you holding yourself back from a lot of really great opportunities, right? And we have the Three of Pentacles here, which talks about teamwork and collaboration. It could be that you come up with these ideas or you have the most or you feel the most inspired when you are collaborating with other people, when you are brainstorming with other people, when you are planting seeds with other people, right? It could also be that there have been certain things that you have already planted, right? But maybe you're nervous as to whether or not this is something that you want. Maybe you're just like doubting whether it's actually going to sprout. And I kind of just see you scrambling, freaking out a lot over something that like it, it, there's no necessity to be freaking out for it because it seems very prosperous and very exciting and fulfilling for you. But I just see, you know, like the ego gets in the way and you start overthinking and things become a little bit uncomfortable and there's a lot of changes coming your way. And so you're like, mm, I don't know how I feel about this. I think I would rather step away from this. You know, I just like, like I said, it just feels like you're getting in the way of your own happiness. You're getting in the way of your own uh, fulfillment, success of your own prosperity and that sort of thing. And I feel that there are kind of a lot of irrational thoughts getting the best of you with this nine of swords and kind of just like picking at you. They're kind of at the back of your mind, they're at the back of your, you know, in the back of your mind, like just like always picking at you, right? And these thoughts are what are preventing you from really taking risks that could at the end of the day really benefit you and really help you and create the reality that you want to live right because as a Taurus right there is a certain lifestyle that you want to live and with what this see with this what this looks like here is that you are willing to put in the work to live that lifestyle there are a lot of tour there's like two there's different there's two types of Tauruses that I've experienced both of them want to live a certain lifestyle. But there's one group that is willing to put in all of the work, the commitment, the patience, the, the endurance, the determination, the diligence to get what they want and to live the lifestyle that they wish to live. There are other Tauruses who don't want to do that. For, like, quite frankly, they just don't have that sort of drive and there's not anything really wrong with that i mean it doesn't make them a bad person that's just the way that things are um that's at least like from my experience not to say that every single taurus is like this but i'm just i'm saying from my experience and from my observations there are two types of tauruses and that that's like what that is um and i'm a taurus rising so like i fall into either of these categories like sometimes i flip flop between them like <laughs> I'm not trying to like make a jab at anyone. Um, but with that being said, right? And like, it seems to me that there is a large group of people here who you are willing to put in the work. Like you have the ideas, the inspiration, and you want to put in the work. You want to plant the seeds. Like you are so open and receptive to putting in the work, to planting the seeds, to being patient, to, you know, doing your slow methodical work so that you have that long-term success, so that you can live that that lifestyle that you desire to live right but of course as any human like any human we get on this we get in our own way right we start to overthink we start getting anxious and kind of big, big um create these hypothetical irrational anxious scenarios in our heads to stop ourselves from pursuing what we know is good for us right we speak, we begin to second doubt to second guess ourselves and really just get in the way of our own bag, essentially, right? And I see that um, for you, Taurus. And with this retrograde, I really feel this is kind of the time for you to kind of work on snapping out of that and no longer get in the way of your own opportunities and getting in the way of your own success and prosperity and getting in the way of what could ultimately be so amazing and beautiful for you. And I feel that... If there's something that you want, you have to commit to it. It can be kind of like this flip-flop sort of thing where one day you're like, yeah, I really want it. But then once it starts to become real, you're like, you know what? No, I don't want it. Because you get overwhelmed by the manifestation of it and you get so shocked 
at the fact that you were the one that manifested such great things and in the middle of the the thing manifesting you're like ooh, like i don't want that so i feel that this retrograde is kind of a time for you to become aware of this right we have the ace of wands which to me kind of talks about there was a spark and then that spark kind of went away because you didn't act on it or because you ran away from it or it's just like that like ignoring the inspiration running away from the inspiration that sort of thing and then with the eight of cups reversed this to me talks about like not moving forward, not being able to move forward, getting in the way of yourself, being able to move forward. This to me reads as like kind of like a lack of progress. And again, we have all of these ideas, but you are stopping yourself from really acting on them and fully committing yourself to them because maybe you feel that it won't be secure enough or it won't be the way that you wanted it to be or whatever it is, whatever excuses that we make up for ourselves to prevent us from really pursuing this thing you know and i feel that we need to work on growing out of that we need to work on growing out of that mindset and fully lock ourselves into this thing you know kind of like on a roller coaster like we need to buckle up and like get ready for the ride and like once we buckle in we can't second guess and be like no i don't want to do this anymore no we have to go for it we have to take that risk even if it initially feels scary even if the initial if the anticipation feels really like anxiety inducing right because whenever we're about to go on a roller coaster a lot of us get anxious a lot of us get nervous and we're like oh my god like i don't know if i want to do this i'm like i'm, I'm getting scared i'm getting anxious i'm getting nervous da 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 but then when we're in the middle of like that roller coaster we're like holy shit this is so much fun yes i feel you know i'm go i'm making all of these flips and these turns but i have so much adrenaline and i'm so excited and i'm so happy obviously not everyone enjoys roller coasters but it's just an analogy okay so that's what that feels like for me so for you taurus is that this retrograde is really bringing up this theme of what do you want to commit to because it's almost like what do, you, what do you want to commit to now so that I can manifest this for you? I meaning the universe. Like, what do you want? That's kind of what this is. What do you want so that I can make it a reality for you? Because you have all the tools, the resources. Like, you are the creator of your own reality. You have everything in your hands to make it real, to make it true. All you have to do is sign off on it. That's all that it is. And, like, follow through with it. That's all that you have to do, Taurus. Like, that's beautiful. That's amazing. That's amazing. And again, it's like this retrograde is really a time for you to work through that anxiety, through the irrationality, through the fear, right? Working through these ego-based things so that we can create the reality that we want. Because this is essentially what you want, right? The Ten of, excuse me, the Ten of Cups. That's literally what you want. You want fulfillment. You want community. You want like that long term emotional stability and financial stability like all of the, all of this all this is all of the all the stability all of it right all kinds of stability you want it right and i know you are willing to work for it a lot of you are willing to work for it okay i know that you are so I think retrograde, this retrograde season is really, really encouraging you to follow through with these ideas. Take the risk no matter what. Like, take that risk, okay? Even if it feels like you don't know enough, even if it feels like you are not well-versed enough in some sort of uh, study or topic or, or whatever it is, right? Even if you feel that you don't know enough, that's okay because you'll learn along the way. You will learn along the way and you will accumulate knowledge over time and you will meet people who will teach you. You will have these really life-changing experiences if you go ahead and take that risk, if you take that leap of faith, okay? Don't stop the light, okay? Don't dim your own light that is inside of you, okay? This is not the time to be doing that. It's just, it's just not. So... I would really encourage you, Taurus, to reflect on this. Okay, watch this video as many times as you need to, to feel motivated and to really secu feel secure within yourself so that you can be locked in 
with this choice or locked in with whatever thing it is that you want to pursue and you can work towards that and plant the seeds towards that and water that project and nurture it and take care of it and so that over time it comes into fruition and the universe does the rest of the work for you you know what i'm saying like that's all you gotta do bro i'm like so excited i'm so happy for you taurus like this is such good energy and i know that fear of like doubting whether it's worth going following through with i know that fear i know the fear of like doubting whether you are really worthy of being able to do certain things or or have certain opportunities like are you really asking yourself am i really good enough to have this opportunity what makes me so special to do this that and the third and it's like no like you are that's why you're even thinking about this in the first place because there you do deserve it and you are worthy of it and you you know like you you can do it like you literally can do it okay if there's a lifestyle that you want to live and there's a very certain lifestyle that you want to live you got to work for it and you you have to commit yourself to to doing that um is it going to be the easiest road on the in the world no probably not nothing is ever easy it's not going to just be handed to you but if you are dedicated and if you are willing to put in the work like it's just said and done you know so that's what i have for you taurus i'm so excited for you um let me know if this helps if it motivates you in some sort of way if it resonates with you um i would love to hear anything that you have to say in the comments down below um yeah, give the video a thumbs up, share with your friends, family, loved ones, or anyone else who needs to hear this message. <clears throat> yeah, bro. Oh my god. Um, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification to know when I upload my videos. Like I said, if you want to book a personal reading with me, you can do, you can do so at Twitter on Twitter on at sinfulpluto.com. I'll be linking it down below. Um, as well as in the cards. And if you want to find me on social media, you can do so on Twitter and Instagram at sinfulpluto. And um, I think that's it. So I'll talk to you later. All right. Happy retrograde season. I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye.